Stalicon and I'm back at it again with another unboxing <laughs> so don't mind my bed like y'all it hasn't been made up in mad long like mad long I'm like going through a crisis right now and no nah, I'm not going through nothing but <laughs> I just don't feel like doing it like I go back in it all the time so yeah if you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are not new, like if you know you're a veteran to this channel, welcome back. So y'all already know what this video is about. It is going to be an unboxing of the Oxblood Telfar bag. But first, can y'all look at my nails? Like, I did these myself and they're press-ons. Like, I'm so proud because like, you know, before I was struggling to do them, but now I'm actually getting a little better. I'm gonna start my own little press on brand so you know look out for that but before we even get into this video make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get notified for when I drop more videos just like this one so of course in my first Telfar bag unboxing I basically described who Telfar and what Telfar is so Telfar is a black owned luxury bag brand I mean they have belts and hats too but it's a luxury black owned brand Telfar is also owned by the man himself, Telfar Clemens, and it was founded in Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York. So, you know, like, the whole of Brooklyn better get these bags because, like, represent. So, like I said before, it was founded in Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York, and founded in 2005. So, of course, Telfar has been here for, like, a whole decade and some, and it's about to be, like, two decades so Telfar has been around for a while but it's been a buzz from since like last year into this year and when I tell y'all they bags sell out in minutes literally it is so hard to get a bag like right now every time they drop it if you're not on that site at nine o'clock ten o'clock on the dot it's getting sold out it depends on the color though because this oxblood color that I got it didn't sell out until like an hour later. I guess like not a lot of people wanted it or anything. I wanted it. I got it. I got two. So I'm going to show y'all, you know, what's the word and what's really good. All right. I had to back up for y'all. So this is how the Telfar bags come. It really just comes in a plain brown box with your postage on the other side. I'm really glad like they don't put the postage too big because, you know, people be reading labels and stuff like I said and like... People be selling, like, I don't want to waste them. I just wanted all that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But it comes in a plain box like this. I did not open either one of them. So, we about to do strictly a first look of the unboxing of the Oxblood bag. So, like I said, I got two Oxblood bags. Of course, I bought one for myself. And then I bought one for my friend Nai. Because she was not able to go on the website and get it. So, I was like, let me copy for you, friend. So I got it for her. So I ordered myself the small and right now I opened up the small box. So I'm going to show you how it looks in this big box. So of course this is the box that it came in, right? And then when you open the box, the small bag is inside this plastic bag, which is inside a duster bag, which is the bag inside the bag. Right. So this is the Telfar bag inside the bag, which is inside the bag. That's inside the bag. Whatever. So, of course, it comes in a little Ziploc bag with the Telfar logo on it. So, as soon as you take it out, the Telfar logo is right here on the bag itself. It has the barcode at the bottom so that you know it's real. And then inside that Ziploc bag comes a duster bag with the Telfar logo on top. I mean, with the Telfar logo on the front. So, it has the T and then the E. And it's a nice little canvas duster bag. And y'all, we about to open it up and see. Ooh, okay. This is different. My, I don't think my azalea bag came with this around it. So this is what the small oxblood bag looks like. It is so cute. It's like, 
it's smaller than my head. Damn, I got a big head. Wow. It's literally like, it's like, yeah, it's almost like small. It is smaller than my head. But this is what the bag looks like. So, of course, the Telfar bags always come packaged with this paper plastic tape thing around the around the handles to keep the handles secure i don't think they always come with this band around because my azalea bag if i'm not mistaken didn't come with this band around it but if they do i mean still you know it's authentic doesn't matter but this is what the bag looks like now i'm about to unbox the medium size bag and do a size comparison for you guys so this is what the medium bag looks like this is bigger than me but of course in the Ziploc bag, it has the logo on it, and then it has the duster bag, which is the bag that's inside this bag, and then it has the Telfar bag there. It's so confusing to think about that. Like, wow. And then, of course, you open the bag, and then it has the bag inside the duster bag. I don't want to damage nothing, because I got to give this to my friend. And like the small bag, it has the Telfar logo on the duster bag. And then inside, it has... The Ox Blood Bag. Okay, if I could just like take this out. <laughs> okay, so I guess the small ones are the only ones that come with the strap around because this medium bag, just like my Azalea bag, did not come with the strap around the 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 length way, the width. So I think it's just the small bags that do that. So now to do a size comparison for you guys. So this one is the medium bag. And here goes the small bag. So it's really like a big difference in size for these bags. Like you can literally put this whole thing inside the medium bag, which is so crazy. So I already showed y'all what could fit in a medium bag from my last video. Now I'm going to actually show y'all what can fit in the small bag. Because I don't know. I don't know where we're about to go with this, but it's mad cute. Before we even try to see what fits in the small bag, I'm going to let y'all know the details about this bag. So, of course, it has the two straps right here. And then it has two longer straps so that you can wear it over your shoulder. You can wear it as a crossbody. Or you can just hold it as a cute little purse by the short handles. Now, when we open the bag, let's see. It has the Telfar tag, which is like right here. Has a Telfar tag with the properties and everything listed. Inside the bag has a metal clamp to actually close the bag. It's magnetic. And it also has the logo stitched on the inside. Not unlike the medium bags, the small bags do not come with the zippers on the inside. So everything that you're going to throw in this bag just goes directly in the bag. Okay, so here's the bag. We're going to try and see what fits in the bag. So I have a 12 Pro Max, iPhone 12 Pro Max, and we're just going to try to fit this in here. Now, it looks like I'm going to have to put my phone slanted in order for it to fit and then kind of shift it straight. So that's one. It still fits fine. I still have enough room in there. Now I'm going to put my wallet in there. My wallet is a credit card case wallet. I don't really carry cash. So, you know, you run up on me and I'll just cancel all my cards. <laughs> I can fit this in here also. And so, that's good. And I would say I could also put my car keys in here. And I can fit my pepper spray in here also. So, that's about it that can actually fit in here. Let me see if it could close. So... With these things in here, it's not like the bag can close easily. It does take a little bit of strength to actually close the bag, but it closes. It's, it's good. I just had to straighten out my phone, straighten out my wallet, and then it closes. So you can walk around with your purse and it'll be closed and nobody can really like run up on you and try to like, you know, pickpocket kind of thing. If you want to see what I put in my medium size bag, just go over to my Azalea video. My first unboxing of a Telfar bag. And you'll see what I actually put in the medium size bag and how much stuff it could hold and how much space it has. So yeah guys, that's the ending of this unboxing. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see more videos, more unboxing of my Telfar bags. Listen, I'm going to get every bag. So there's going to be a collection video coming 
sometime in the near future but yeah if you did like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up if you have anything to say just drop it down in the comment section below and if you want to see more videos just like this don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for me so yeah guys thank you for watching bye Starting with, starting with, starting with